It may not look like it at first, but this little attacher solves so many problems. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 12 mods for you. For all platforms we've got 7 new and 3 updates and for PC and Mac only we've got 1 new and 1 update. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the adapter. This is something that is huge. What it does is normally your trailer hitch sits way back on your tractor. So if you have something like a plow or cultivator, or maybe something like that, that hooks up, it's not gonna turn well. You get stuck at like this angle right here. Well, with this, what it does is it allows us to put an attacher on the three point and now we have a full 90 degree turn that way and 90, 180 degree turn on a lot of pieces of equipment that we could only turn like, you know, 45 degrees, maybe either way. This is huge. It's just a small little implement. As a matter of fact, if we get in and drop it, it's just that little guy right there. That's it. But when we jump in, hook back up to it, it hooks up and the hoses hook as well. It looks great. Let's check it out in the store. Where are you going to find this? Well, of course, it's going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in miscellaneous. And it's going to be one of your very first mods because it is it starts with an A adapter. Here it is. No customization whatsoever. $1,100 or 56 bucks to lease it if you want. It's great. It's got all your trailer hitches on there as well. Uh, this will not work with three point, obviously, because it itself takes up the three point hitch. That should make sense. But it works it's great there's a couple pieces of equipment that come to mind one of them are called cultivators this guy right here the horse cruiser this thing did not want to turn and it works with it. as a matter of fact this is one of the featured mods with it which is phenomenal so obviously something like this that runs with a three point you wouldn't have any have any turning issues but something like this maybe you would so that's what this remedies it changes everything. Man, that's so cool. I didn't even think about that. Great mod right here. Next up, we've got a black sheep modding mod, the Fork Lizard Spino with Claws. This right here will hold bells in place. It is made for square bells, but it will work with round bells as well. Price is gonna be across the board between 4,500 and 7,500, depending on which one you choose, because you can use it for front loaders, telehandlers, and wheel loaders all kinds of stuff they have individual mods for each one you don't have to worry about going into telehandlers and then choosing the right adapter it's all there let's check it out this oh man this thing's so cool let's jump in first things first let's go in we'll just do front loaders first we'll start there so we could show you that now this is going to be one of the very first mods boom right here spino f for front loader price 4500 bucks you can see we have design color main color because they know black sheep modding knows we want to change colors so you can any color you want this one's gonna be a pink one there you go we've got pink we've got black on there that's cool so your spikes actually move they claw into the bale so neat that is really cool price gonna cost you 200 bucks for the design color and another 150 for the main color surprising that it costs that much for both whatever let's keep going telehandlers let's jump in here this one's different because we have two versions so we have the exact same version that we have for the front loader forty five hundred dollars however we get a bigger version seventy five hundred dollars for this version right here this is much much bigger we can do i think it's six square bales with this guy right here which is massive it's huge absolutely huge design color of course you can go through do anything you want here but it doesn't matter what you do actually that doesn't look too bad and then if we go into wheel loaders same thing here we get the small one so 4500 bucks that's going to do three square bells or maybe four round bells and then right here <laughs> you've got the big one this one works with wheel loaders as well keep in mind you will need to make sure you've got the correct attachment on here the wheel loader one just does the wheel loaders the telehandler just telehandlers i know that makes sense but it is what it is so let's see what can we pick up with these things first up we've got our small version right here this is for the front loaders and this one's not going to be able to do too much 
just to give you an example to show you how it's going to set up. Now, could you do all six of these? Yeah, maybe, but I think really what you need to be doing is two bales. Right here, just like that, place it down and clamp them in. I think that's going to be the way you do that. Also, the way you control this, I am using an Xbox controller on PC. So let's show you how you control this. See if we can show you here. So we're going to bring this up. And we just control the front like you would any other front loader attachment. However, you're going to need to press L1 and R1 or left bumper and right bumper. And then press up on the right stick to claw in and down on the right stick to claw out. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, if we move this over to the round bales, using this will actually pick up four round bales. So it's placed to be able to do that. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Very nice. Well, what about the larger versions? The ones that we can use on the telehandler or the wheel loader? Here we go. Let's try it out and see. What do we got here? Can we get four? Can we get six? Come on. Can we get six? Doesn't look like it. Nope. It looks like four is going to be what we can get. But we get four really well. Check that out. Even at the bottom, it says 16,000 liters. That is all right. Plus, I wonder what it looks like when we drop them all. Ha, that's great. What about round bales? Can, I'm sure we could get six. Can we get any more than six? Could we get eight possibly? You know what? It looks like six will fit. I bet we can get eight. Oh, easy, baby. Easy. Look at this. So if you're using round bells, we have just doubled the capacity. Look at this. Oh, we're going to bring it in. I'm going to do this. Let's see. Scoot, 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 scoot. Come on, push them all together. I'm real bad at placing them all by hand. There we go. There's that. Clip it in. 32,000 liters. Yeah. You trying to feed some cows some hay? Oh man, 32,000 liters at a time. I could do better than a trailer can. Can we flip this thing over? Yep, that's good 10-4 and they'll slide off. That didn't work very well, did it? Moving on. Next up, new for all platforms, we have the Gens HE561 STA pack. This is a pack with two versions of the Gens wood chipper and these are nice, very nice. They are in category placeables miscellaneous right there. They are forestry equipment, but they are not categorized correctly. Uh, to sell the wood has to be clicked on in the concrete base position. What you need to do with this is you're gonna have to level the ground before you place this down. Hands down, you have to, because it's a vehicle, technically, like we get in these, as a matter of fact, we can even bump across between both of these. You've got to be able to flatten the ground. So go in, flatten the ground before you place it down. You will be thankful, I promise you. But once we get to that, well, how does this work? Well, let's jump in and check it out. We have two different versions. This is not the version I want. This is the version I want. Let's turn on our help window and find out. So, stop engine, start engine, we've got that. Pipe out, boom, so that's just gonna open a cover. That's all that does. And then, turn on. Okay, so we've got that. Let's grab a piece of wood, place it in, and see what happens. So, it's crunching it up. Anything happen? Uh, does not look like anything's happening. So why don't we take a truck and back it up? Now, there are other stuff in game that are just like this. This is not the only thing like itself. Here we go. We got that. Anything. There we go. So we had to get in it in order for the wood to sell. Very interesting. Or at least for the wood to come out. So if we drop another couple pieces of wood, then that didn't work, did it? All right, so now that everything's good, it looks like it's working. That wood is flying through there. Man, oh man. Goodness. Put it up there, nice and easy. Wood up, good. Wood selling, coming through, all right. 
we jump in here, we see we've got well, about 2,400 liters. Not terrible. I've seen worse. I have seen worse. Hey, we got a little bit more right here too. Boop. Got it. So wood chips, does it make them? Yes. Does it do a good job? Also, yes. Uh, it does say in order to sell the wood chipper it has to be clicked on uh, the concrete position. So let's kind of figure out what in the world that means. We've got our short one here. Sell. So, well, it just went away, didn't it? Hmm. Well, not sure what that means, but work nonetheless. Uh, that seems to be an issue. Is that still filling up? Nope. Okay. Interesting. All right, whatever. That is your Jens HE561 STA pack. Next up, we have a metal shed. This shed, I think, would be perfect for those of you that maybe need to run. Let's say you've put down your own little BGA setup. We, of course, we've got BGA cell points. We've got silage clamps. So you, maybe you've set your own up and you just need a tractor kind of out there. This is a great shed for that. This is your opening right here. We open it up, boom, there you go. We do have little windows on all sides, so that is nice. We have lights as well. This is gonna be our light for the inside. Um, I will say I have had a bit of an issue getting this light to work. So just keep in mind, maybe run through it, run away. But you turn the lights on on the inside, that's good. We also have a light on the outside as well. So maybe you're doing something out here. Maybe you've got a, a cell, or cell station, workstation, whatever. Maybe you need to set this up with a light. You've got a light. There you go. One on the inside, one on the outside. Is any of this movable? Nope. Doesn't look like any of it's movable, but it's kind of, it's nice. Look at this. This is cool. I like that. That is really neat. I am digging it. It is going to be found, of course, normal places. It's going to be found in placeables and in sheds. Again, it is the metal shed and it's seasons ready. Next up, we have a pair of mods that I am having a Difficult time figuring out why we need these or have them. I mean, there's a place for everything, but these are interesting. I wonder what in the world's going on, DJ. This is potato heap and sugar beet heap. They come in multiple different versions. And basically what it is, it's, it's a place to dump your potatoes and cover them and your sugar beets as well. So we've got some. Let's jump in here. Let's take our sugar beets, potatoes, and we're going to dump potatoes in our potato heap. This is the one on our left. I'm gonna pull through here. And you can say fill level potatoes at the top. Zero, compacting 100%. Well, none of that makes sense. So let's force dump because obviously dumping potatoes on the ground doesn't make any sense, so we have to force dump it, which is going to be L1, R1, and dump. So we come through here, we've got potatoes on the ground, everything's looking good, and we're not even going to worry about filling it all the way up, because there is no fill level for this, it's just kind of whatever's whatever. So, we're done there, and we're stuck. <laughs> Pull this. Come on, dummy, come on, you can do it. Let's go Get over there. So with that being gone, we come in here, and we blanket the silo. All right. And now, fermenting process. Fermenting potatoes, boom. It takes about a second. Okay, open silo. There's still potatoes. I don't understand. Covering them protects them, yes, and that's great, but it, uh, why? It's just pump them on the ground. It legit the exact same thing for the sugar beet heap right here. Both by the same modders. Is it neat? Yeah, but I don't I don't understand. Also, online says PC, Mac, and PS4. I have uh, confirmation this is on Xbox as well. Of course, they will be found in placeables. They are going to be found in silos. We get a couple different versions of each one. We get a couple different versions of the sugar beet. We get a couple different versions of the potato as well. So if we go through, we'll see here, potato heap 10 by 20, potato heap 10 by 50, and potato heap 10 by 20 with a kind of set thing on the side, which is what we've gone for, was what we're using here. Then if we keep moving forward a little bit, we get the sugar beets, but 
we don't get the extra little heap on the side. We get a 10 by 20 and a 10 by 50. If you're curious how long 10 by 50 is, it is literally spanning from halfway down one to the end of the other. It's a lot of potatoes and a lot of sugar beets. And it is it cool that we can put all this stuff in here? Yeah. I just don't understand. I mean, it says it's fermenting, but then it's just still potatoes. I'm sure this mod took a while to make. I just don't understand it. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? And your last new mod for all platforms today, Seasons Geo South Poland. Poland is a country with four seasons. Winter can be cold and summer can be very hot. It's a Geo mod that requires a Seasons mod version 1.0.1 by Realism is Modding, aka the most recent version. Now, if you look down here, you can see that we get sections of one and sections of two. As always mentioned before, if you see a section with one, you definitely need to be running at least six day seasons, if not nine day seasons, in order to get the full fledged version of this. The problem with this mod is you're gonna be fertilizing a lot and you're gonna be waiting a lot. You're gonna be fast forwarding time. So I would say use this mod on a map where you've got more stuff to do other than just crop stuff. Maybe you've got animals, maybe you have, you know, forestry, stuff like that. Find a map that you can do other stuff other than just farming, because this is gonna be kind of boring when it comes to farming. Moving into updates for all platforms. First up, we have the pigsty. This is an old European style pigsty. Changelog 1.001, tip collision has been added. Bell trigger for straw has been added. Thank you, thank you new specular map, and a couple of small fixes for the mod as well. We've got an update to the CSZ equipment pack, change log 1.4.1, fixed a problem with the automatic bell loading caused by the John Deere Cotton DLC, also added new translations, and some minor bug fixes have been made. And your last mod update for all platforms today, this is the placeable liquid fertilizer and herbicide tanks, change log 1.3, Changed the capacity to 60,000 liters, corrected the German title, and corrected the author's title as well. Keep in mind, this is the one that has added the 60,000 liter MTU tanker that holds any liquid in game. Moving into your new mods for PC and Mac only, we have the Tina's Mowers. This is a very, very interesting mower right here. Very interesting. I don't understand it. But let's check it out anyway. We're gonna go into tools, we're gonna go into mowers, and it is going to be your last mower for $5,000. This requires 45 horsepower, as a 1.6 meter working width at 13 miles per hour. We go in, no customization whatsoever, so what you see is what you get. You're gonna need a three point and a PTO to power this, and we've got that. So let's check it out. Let's go ahead and turn on, let's unfold. What that's gonna do is it's gonna bring it down, and it's gonna bring it over. Now we've got that. Let's lower it and turn it on. And rocking and rolling. Can we hire a worker? Yes, yes we can hire a worker. I'm interested to see how the worker does when they get down to the end. Now this is gonna be great for doing maybe roadside mowing, stuff like that. Maybe you wanna come through, get a couple bales off of the side. You can do that very easily with this but it's small, very small, very, very small. Let's see how this worker does. Gotta be honest with you, lady, I don't trust you. Not one bit, but it looks like you're gonna do this okay. Look at that. Turned actually the correct way. The worker's doing good. Who would have thought? Now, of course, with workers, you do have some overlap, so, Naturally, they're not going to be getting the full massive 1.6 meter working with here. So do keep that in mind as well. wonder how they do turning around on the other end though. Worker's done. Are we going to make the turn? Are we going to go the right way? It looks like they are going to do just fine. Very, very good. I'm actually impressed with the way the worker's doing right now. Look at that. Perfect. They even turned the right way very nicely done here and your only update for pc and mac today the fill level warning this is going to be a changelog 1.001 this is our first update to this mod 
Sounds have been added for all manufacturers, including the in-game vehicles. Very, very cool. What this does, it makes the signal tone at 50% and 80% when you are full in any capacity. And then once it reaches 80%, the beacon lights are activated, which is normal when helpers are there, but it doesn't happen automatically when you are doing the work. With this one, it makes it happen. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you've not done so already, join the GoHam fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a new mod video here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace.